Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the Cursed Captain Hippo TC here with a guide video dedicated to helping you sneak, steal, and tuck your way to gold and glory. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, they didn't see me. Uh, well, where was I? Uh, before we get started, if you enjoy this content and find it helpful, please hit that subscribe button. Each sub is greatly appreciated, and I promise I will continue to work hard to bring you quality content worthy of it. And as always, a big thank you to all those who have already subscribed. Now, let's jump into the video. One of my favorite things to do on the seas is sneaky sneak. Now, for those of you that are new here, you might be wondering what in the whale lord is a sneaky sneak? Well, my thieving friends, a sneaky sneak is when you sneak onto someone's ship or a fort and hide so you can watch them collect treasure for you. Then when they least expect it, you sneak out, them up and take all of their treasure. A good sneaky sneak requires skill and I often get asked for tips and tricks on how to be successful doing it. So I wanted to put together this guide to help you become a sneaky son of a on the sea of thieves. First of all, the most important element of any good sneaky sneak is you have to dress the part. I know a lot of you pirates like to look extra fancy, but the truth is, to pull off a good sneaky sneak, you need to make sure you dress for success. And that means don't dress like a glow stick. There are quite a few outfits that you can pick from, but at the end of the day, you wanna make sure you're picking something that's dark. So find a combination you like and put it on. And here's a bonus tip. Going barefoot is quieter than boots or a peg. Here's how you sound running with your boots on. And here's how you sound running around barefoot. There is a pretty significant difference. So if you want that little extra bit of sneaky, take those boots off. The next element of any good sneaky sneak is you need to have the hide emote. If you have not yet picked it up from the Pirate Emporium, stop what you're doing and go pick it up right now. It is free. This emote helps you tuck into the smallest of places while hiding your gamer tag and is required for a proper sneaky. If you want to take your sneaky even further, you can also pick up the full emote bundle. Also, I know what I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear, but if you are a larger pirate, it's time for you to go on a diet. There might be more of you to love, but there's also a lot more of you to hide. In one of the most recent updates, they introduced the Pirate Potion, which allows you to shed those pounds from indulging in too much grog at the tavern. So if you are a fluffy pirate, put down the grog and pick up the Pirate Potion. It's time to drink up and slim down, matey. Now that you are dressed for success, let's go over some of the best spots to hide on a sloop, brig, and galleon. However, before I jump into the list, I do wanna point out that each sneaky sneak is a little bit different, and some of these spots may work better than others depending on the time of day, the weather, the amount of time you have to hide, and the crew you are pulling the sneaky on. So it's up to you to make a judgment call in the moment on where the best spot may be. With all that being said, here are some of the best tucking spots for a sloop. By the ropes for the sails, by the voyage table, in the corner by the brig, by the water barrel, by the map table, by the anchor. For the brig, we have behind the wood barrel, by the map table, on the front of the ship laying in the mast, by the voyage table. For the galleon, we have a ton of spots, but some of my favorites are behind the captain's chair, on the balcony, in front of the helm, on the front of the ship laying in the mast, in this little tuck spot on the front of the ship, on the outside of the back of the ship laying down, in the bottom of the ship tucked in any of these corners, close to the front mast on the flap, under the harpoon, and laying down by the plank. And then there are these glorious spots that are great on any ship, such as by the cannons, in the crow's nest, and my personal favorite, in plain sight in some loot. Most people forget to check those beautiful mega kegs or gunpowder kegs, and if your pirate is small enough, they can tuck right into it, giving you the perfect spot to hide. Trust me on this one, it pays off in a big way.
I really want to point out again that each spot has its advantages and disadvantages, and I'm sure there are some talk spots that I forgot to mention. One of the best things to do as a sneaky pirate is to try out new spots and see what works and what doesn't work. Now that we've covered all the spots you can hide, once you find your target that you want to sneaky sneak, you do not want to have your ship appear suspicious. So if you can, send your ship off in the opposite direction or just far enough away that it appears you are doing something else entirely and your target will not give you much attention. You never want to raise their suspicion levels, so do your best to look like a swabby. Park at an island, drop your anchor, and drop those sails. Usually a sign of a swabby, but in this case, it will be a decoy. Now, let's talk about getting to the target you want to sneak on. Rowboats can be helpful in sneaky sneaks, but I personally prefer the swim. Rowboats can leave evidence of someone sneaking, and if the crew that you are trying to sneaky sneak is paying even a little bit of attention, they will see you coming from a mile away. So I personally prefer to just swim. However, before making your swim, make sure you have the best food available meat is going to be your saving grace as it gives you that overheal and health regen i put together a full guide video breaking down all the food in the game so if you're not sure what is best check that video out last but not least if you are sneaky sneaking at a fort some of the best spots to hide are in the towers it gives you the ability to see all around you and you can hear if someone is swimming towards you if you're trying to sneaky sneak the Fort of the Damned, well, I have put together a guide video specifically for that, so check it out here. I go over a lot of what I shared in this video, but I dive in a bit more with the best spots to hide on the Fort of the Damned and how to get that sweet, sweet, sweet stolen Athena. Obviously, with any sneaky sneak, there's a lot of factors to consider, and every encounter will be a little bit different. The most important thing to remember is to keep your wits about you and stay calm. Don't give up your position too quickly because you think they saw you. They will attack you if they saw you, so be cool and wait for the best moment to spring. Keeping your wits about you is what separates the real thieves from the wannabes. And there you have it. With the proper look, the right approach, a bit of luck, and a quick sacrifice to the way of Lord, you too can sneaky sneak like the cursed captain. Let me know what you think and tell me if I missed any of your favorite spots in the comments below. Thanks for watching, mates, and I hope to see you out on the seas. Cowabunga. Oh my gosh, they got